He alerted officials there had to determine the size of the waves that were generated. What we did afterwards was we are waiting or waited for confirmation of an actual wave being generated. So we would look to, to instruments close by in Tonga, uh, in American Samoa. Kong says the wave generated was small, but they also had to measure the amount of energy it had as it was heading to Hawaii. The good thing is that the energy from the earthquake was going north to south, which she says worked in our favor. And Hawaii, uh, we're in the north. So uh, most of the energy was directed not at us. So we did not expect a, a very large tsunami, if any. If it was determined that a tsunami was coming with the potential for danger, officials say the good thing is that a warning would be sent out hours ahead of its arrival. We have a system of setting the sirens off hours in advance and working with our county partners to get that message out. And then as the tsunami wave potentially gets closer, we would share that information. They gave the all clear around 12.30, much to the relief of many, especially the boaters. Among them, Joe Ganahl, who was trying to get his boat fixed before the tsunami was scheduled to arrive. We're actually trying to repair my transmission right now, and uh, I'm afraid pulling out to avoid the tsunami is not going to be an option for me. Other precautionary measures remain in place. On the Big Island, beaches and state parks in West Oahu were closed at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Boaters in small boat harbors are asked to make sure their vessels are secure. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Back to you. Thanks, Manolo.